Do you hear about the Willy Wonka chocolate factory scam? Yes. There is no name more sin. Yes, the person who fucking busted this Willy Wonka chocolate factory scam is a Hasanabi. Anonymous hit. with fraud than Billy McFarland. The, the guy <laughs> who sold luxurious music festival tickets and ended up serving people this. Now, every time expectations don't meet reality, everyone talks about it like it's fire festival. And people are calling this the new fire festival moment, but for kids. It's Willie's Chocolate Experience. It was sold to parents as a wonderful little event to bring your kids to in Glasgow, Scotland. You got an enchanted garden, an imagination lab, the twilight tunnel, and even captivating Glasgow. entertainment. Now, you may notice that all of these pictures are AI generated, which might raise some red flags, as it should. A pasadice of sweet teats. I don't know exactly what that means, but uh, something tells me they're going to fleece you for all the money you have. Pretty quickly, that's exactly what happened when parents paid their hard-earned money to get <laughs> this expectation and this reality. Uh, basically, an empty warehouse that they put a few little ropes and a little sad poster on the wall that doesn't even fit. And yes, I know this topic has sort of been beaten to death. In fact, I'm the one of the last ones to it, which shames me as the man in the void, because as we will find out, our supervillain might as well be in this story. So the fact I didn't know, see this, you know, earlier, the fact none of you guys sent it, I feel like we're losing our edge here a little bit. But I do have an update to the story that is interesting because the man behind it got unmasked. And his history of abusing AI to rip people off has actually come to light in an interesting way. But going back to the story, People were sold this dream, they paid money, and of course they were met with severe disappointment. There's not much of a theme to it besides like looking up whimsical on Timu or something. And the whole thing just has this empty, sad look to it. And you might think that's because there's not enough actors here filling the space. But actually, if you look at when the actors do show up, um, it gets even worse. Now, this thing says, Willy What is this? Coffeezilla is a big compromise due to KSI shooting back. Wait, why? What did KSI do? I don't know what happened with Coffeezilla versus KSI. I haven't really been keeping up with uh, Coffeezilla stuff lately. I remember your statement about AI bros not having any creativity, and I cannot think of more of a perfect example. KSI is a scammer who got exposed. KSI stands are seething. He did like a semi rug pull. Really? Not KSI. No. Willy Wonka's experience scam had only one Oompa Loompa. And they show this very sad actor uh, who looks like she's doing some kind of a meth science experiment, which I saw a lot of people hating on her. And you have to understand, these people got scammed as much as anybody, maybe more than anyone, these actors. They showed up thinking they were going to, you know, entertain a bunch of kids and instead they get this. But I do have a bit of beef to pick with all the people. Is anyone really surprised that KSI is a piece of shit, Lamau? Yes, I am. I feel like he's like one of those content creators overall. Like, sure, he's besties with Logan Paul. But I always thought that he was like at least one of those content creators like that is from the old guard that uh, has maintained like a relatively stable brand that isn't like insane wait actually i've always known that ksi has been a piece of shit honestly my metric as a content creator myself for who's a piece of shit is probably distorted by the fact that for two reasons one because virtually every content creator can be made to be a piece of shit um especially if you've been a content creator for a long enough time and two Content creators are often ginormous pieces of shit. Um, the first one, obviously, I'm referring to myself. If you ask random, depending on which circles of the internet you ask about me, there will be a fucking sea of information readily available about how much of a demon and a monster I am. So I always take that with a grain of salt. Um, and two, I'm basically comparing him to like Logan Paul and the like, which is, which is why I feel as though... Um, which is why I always feel like it's, uh, you know, like so many fucking YouTubers are like outed as abusers and shit that like the bar is high to clear. People calling this, uh, the Oompa Loompas, they call it the Willy Wonka experience because 
actually, if you look at the website, they never say Willy Wonka. Instead, they call it Willy's Chocolate Experience. And as you might imagine, that's because of the copyright implications. And if you look at the actual script, you find out that internally, they weren't calling him Willy Wonka. They just wanted you to think that by calling it Willy's Chocolate Experience. They actually called him Willy McDuff. That's right. They used an AI script generator to oh not God. only create the AI art, but also the script behind their whole dumb scheme. Here you can see some obviously AI generated oh gibberish where Willy McDuff tells people that he's going to guide them down this spectacular, downright magical garden of enchantment. And then I like this very ambitious audience applauds. But not only is the Willy Wonka character changed, the Oompa Loompas are actually called Wonky Doodles, which I think should have given away how dumb this project was. Wonky Doodle is straight out of the AI garbage pile of possible names. They also have a super villain called The Unknown. He's a evil chocolate maker within the walls, which already sounds stupid, and it's obvious they did absolutely zero revisions to this script idea. But then you find out that the ultimate climax of this whole story is that I don't get it. Like, why don't you just use like 10 extra minutes to like work the script? You were supposed to look at my gigantic tweet about this. I did. I, I even gave you props. I said, a Hasanabi head is the one who broke this story. But like, um, uh, going back to my previous point, like it, it can't take that long to just like clean it up. I don't get it. Like, I understand guys are AI scammer. Okay. But like, why don't you just like go in there and like fix it a little bit? 10 minutes, man. 10 minutes. You don't have 10 extra minutes. To like change the words around a little bit. That the unknown's weakness is tidiness. Not sweets, not chocolate. The guy shoots him with an anti-graffiti gop stopper that cleans up his mess like we're trying to teach these kids some valuable lesson of vacuuming your room. It's so unbelievably stupid that you'd be surprised to find out that the way they executed this is even worse than it was written in the AI script because they really didn't put too much attention to like how they were going to dress this guy up. Instead of having some grand reveal with this anti-graffiti gobstopper or whatever, instead they tell a guy with a uh, little cloak and a mask on just hide behind a mirror and let that work, which seemed to do nothing except traumatize the kids who were unfortunate enough to be there. What is that? It's the end of no. You can see the kids crying in the background, traumatized no. from what really should be our supervillain. This guy looks like something straight out of the actual void. Except, I guess, instead of tidiness, uh, our guy's weakness would be pettiness. Nonetheless, who thought this would be appropriate for a Willy Wonka themed, like, nice. Do you see the response to you and Asmin about be streaming being draining? No, because I don't care. Also, take a fucking week off, you drama pervert. It's time with like what? What caused motherfuckers to come in here and be like, "Hmm, seems like we're no longer talking about genocide." No, Asman defended me. That's not what he's talking about. He's talking about uh, XQC probably responding or some shit. I don't fucking know. <laughs> with the kids and that's their make a wish Willy Wonka right there a guy who actually went public to say that he like regrets everything he says this was an absolute mess the guy even says that he should have been an Oompa Loompa I mean I think he means wonky doodle but you know we'll forgive him for that but just hearing him describe it it's clear that maybe he was the biggest person scammed of them all the unknown is an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls what? <laughs> what? What is an evil chocolate maker for a start? Is it? A, does he make evil chocolate, or is he? No, he's allergic to tidiness. That's actually the true solution. Sorry to spoil it for you guys. The evil man who makes chocolate. And what do you mean he lives in the walls? <laughs> so... 
yeah, he actually lives behind a mirror. That's that's what he really does. We actually have this other view of uh, the Willy Wonka experience, an extended cut, the Zack Snyder edition of this horror show. There, the great unknown. <laughs> There, I think you can actually see that people thought it's actually like kind of amusing instead of just horrifying. Here, you can also just see how empty this place is. I mean, it's the floors look like they haven't been washed in literally years. Funny enough, if any event ever needed the anti graffiti gobstopper to clean up the whole mess, it's this one. This place looks absolutely disgusting. And this is probably one of the saddest parts. I mean, obviously, you're going to Willie's Chocolate Experience. The one thing you expect after paying. 35 40 bucks as a parent is probably you know chocolate but instead of giving that they decide their bright idea was to give each child a single jelly bean and a quarter cup of lemonade and if you think like that's got to be a joke you can't even measure out one jelly bean like if you're pouring it out you're going to end up with multiple no they had a test tube to make sure that no kid got more than one jelly bean look at this what the fuck? Look how sad of a scene this is. You can see that this wonky doodle is probably disappointed in herself as it is. And the disappointments just continue. The chocolate river doesn't move at all. It's way overcrowded. And the actual refreshments, I think some of which you had to buy. Bro, is there nothing going on in Glasgow that they fucking... <laughs> everybody, everybody congregated to this one area, it seems. Oompa Loompa Lady is mother. New mother pics just dropped. <laughs> oh no. The company behind this operates in the US as Lighthouse Immersive, and they do equally shitty interactive shows. What is this? Apologies to anyone who attended my Dune experience. I was let down by suppliers at the last minute, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> I, it looks like they didn't have enough of, like they're running out clearly. They went to <coughs> Walmart right before this, and there you can see the sad cups of lemonade that each kid got. I Having the scary made-up character is hilarious to me. Willy Wonka and his factory was the scary thing in the original. They should just made the Tunnel of Terror instead. They would have had lines out the door. What did this guy say? Billy Cool, the organizer behind the widely criticized Willy's Chocolate Experience, speaks out. I'm really shocked that the event had fallen short of the expectations of people on paper. My vision of the artistic rendition of a well-known book didn't come to fruition. For that, I am absolutely, truly, and utterly sorry. Bro's vision was not a vision at all. Bro was blind. I mean, this was truly a breathtaking scam. As I said, really on par with the Fire Festival. I mean, this is basically sums up what the Willie's Chocolate Experience was. And obviously, this set the internet on fire. People were furious. Everyone wanted to know, like, who can we make pay for this? I, I think they claim that they're going to offer refunds for this. We'll see if they actually pay out. I don't think the actors have been paid a dime yet. And I don't think they will be. So they're probably the big. I think fire was definitely worse than this. No one's flying the fucking Glasgow for the. For the Willy Wonka experience in the same way that they flew to like a natural disaster, basically. This group scammed in all of this. But yeah, the internet did what the internet always does in a situation like this. They found the guy behind it. It's this guy, Billy Cool. Uh, he's the guy who runs the company behind it, House of Illuminati LTD. Now, the most interesting thing about him is just that this is not a one-off. I mean, I guess that was probably obvious, but this guy uses ChatGPT for his entire life story. He claims on his Instagram to be an enigmatic wordsmith, but I think that was also produced by ChatGPT because you can see here his, is his Amazon writing profile, this enigmatic wordsmith, and all of it is basically AI garbage. You can see that, but it's all zero stars, one star. All of the cover art is clearly AI, and then all the comments also say, they're terrible books. Now, why? 
like there are people dumber than this guy though the guy who made all this it's the people that have bought it like who the fuck would voluntarily buy an ai book now i'm not going to go too much further into what reddit found i mean they found everything about this guy his address his everything but ultimately I, I i don't think someone should be harassed over something like this i mean especially if they're gonna give refunds it was totally a scam and the parents have every right to be upset but if you're just some random person on the internet we have filthy fight starting from monday okay no, and you don't receive i'm gonna call the police if you don't receive <laughs> refunds, <laughs> I'm going to call the police. Money and liquidation. You are no, no longer a no, company. No, I Is that no. why you don't have pictures up of your stuff? No. It's actual photo no. shuttle stuff. I'm no, no, sorry. No, no. He's like, I'm sorry, I don't have a chat GPT to help me m navigate through this conversation. Is it a fake? No, absolutely. Is it a fake? That's why you don't, that's why you don't advertise exactly what the thing is about. That's what I said, there's not enough information about yeah. it on Facebook, so nothing, and on the web. Didn't it? Like, nothing. Is that why he's high up because you knew they were all got a no, kick off? No, these guys, these guys are the caretakers of the building. The building. You're like, you're a building. You're a building. You're a building. You're a building. I'm glad that he didn't cheap out on the fucking security. It seems. Oh, no, 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 thank you. No, nothing. So it's a scam. You've scammed children. I've done nothing. Uh, <laughs> I've done nothing. These are scammed kids. That's what they've done. It's a total scam. If you start using they, because I'm fuck out with David and I'm on that camera and you're pointing at me and you're a crazy man. <laughs> the, the bouncer. The bouncer. He gave up. It's like, start using they. Because I'm not with them. So you're, 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 you're part of the venue. Bro, did he eat all the fucking candy? Is that why there was no candy left? Why is his mouth like that? I had all the candy. No child will have a candy because I had all of them. No more left for the children. So again, for the purposes of... But he's for the company. Oh, he's for the company. Uh, he's the company he that, 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 that Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Do you think you're going to get rid of this? If you looked at the queue, how oh, long here be people, parents and their children? Well, you're lucky you're writing. You're lucky you're because the camera's right because that's fucking right. Dude, Scottish people are so funny. I wish they were real. Oi! Can you translate, please? I can't because it's like an entirely different language. And if you think that the auto caption is going to understand what the fuck they're saying, you're wrong. Okay. You want me to do it here? Watch. Enough information about yeah. it on Facebook. So nothing. And on the website. Like, you nothing. Is that why he's high up bouncers? Because you knew they were all going to no, kick off. Guys, yeah. guys, not even trying. Oh, here. So it's a scam. You've scammed children. You've you scammed kids. That's what they've done. It's a total scam. <laughs>